testify. Let's welcome in uh, Patrick Howley, Daily Caller, investigative reporter. Hello, uh, Patrick. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, before we get to uh, the, the specific story that, uh, that, that, that you, you broke yesterday and, and we were going to talk about today, I want, I want you to hear um, a couple of cuts uh, from today's hearings uh, with me and, and comment on them. Uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, Congressman Tom Price, cut 41. He was uh, grilling Stephen Miller. And uh, give a listen to this one. Would you care to recharacterize what you just, what, uh, the unnecessary word? Is it illegal what they have done? It is absolutely not illegal. It's not illegal what the IRS has done. He, uh, uh, so, so let me understand the question. What is, or what is your statement as to what is illegal? Do you believe it is illegal for employees of the IRS to create lists to target individual groups and citizens in this country? I think the Treasury Inspector General indicated that it might not be, but others will be able to tell that. What do you believe? I don't believe it is. So he doesn't believe it's illegal to create, in effect, an enemies list, a target list, whatever you want to call the list, and go after those individuals or groups. Mind you, the question was groups or individuals, and he doesn't believe it's illegal. Wow. I, I love how all these government agencies, you know, it's all, I don't believe it was illegal or I don't think it was illegal. You know, the guidelines are so hazy in these government agencies, and it's all so politicized that uh, these, these people really have no idea what the law is. They just go wherever the administration tells them to go. Yeah, I, uh, but I think that was very, very revealing, because at the same time he was claiming uh, earlier in the testimony that uh, there was no targeting. He took offense to the word targeting. But, right. but even if you were targeting, he doesn't believe this, uh, it's illegal. Now let's move on uh, to, um, uh, to something else. Uh, this uh, speaks to... Um, uh, the the admission, and this is a blockbuster too, I believe, that um, the you know this was all announced to the press. Um, it, we learned about it last week through Lois Lerner, the head of the tax exempt division of the IRS, when she said that the IRS had been applying extra scrutiny. This came out of the blue, it seemed, um, in response to a question during a panel at an American Bar Association conference last week. But as it turns out, as you'll hear now, this was not spontaneous. This was not only planned that she would reveal it, the whole question to Lerner was staged. Let's listen to cut 42. Did you or any of your subordinates direct Lois Lerner to make the public statement at the panel discussion acknowledging the targeting of tax-exempt groups? Um, it was a prepared uh, Q&A. Do you know Ms. Celia Rohde, a member of IRS's Advisory Council on Tax-Exempt and Government Entities? I do. Was Ms. Rohde's question to Ms. Lerner about targeting conservative groups planned in advance? Uh, I believe that uh, we talked about that, yes. So this whole question and answer was planned. It was, it was, they planned to drop this, to let this out last week. And that, that's one issue I'd like to your opinion on, uh, Patrick. And, and the other, the question that, has to, that, that it begs is, why? Why? When Benghazi was heating up, when the pressure was on, why did they take that day and that time um, to, 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 to you know, sidetrack America? Granted, it might be a worse scandal, but do you feel there was any connection? So answer both those questions, please. Well, I, I don't think this is a worse scandal, and as far as Obama is concerned, because it's more difficult to, uh, to pin this back to Obama. Obviously, Lois Lerner could be a fall guy. The Stephen T. Miller is being made out to be a fall guy. It's very easy for Obama to go on in a press conference and say, we're going to hold these people responsible. There are going to be firings. Uh, there's going to be discipline uh, uh, being done. Um, and, and so this is a distraction from Benghazi, which actually does indict Obama. Um, and so I, I don't think it's a conspiracy theory at all. And we know now that, it, that it's not a conspiracy theory. I was saying this for days, that, uh, that of course they manipulated the press. And, and of course this whole thing is a diversion uh, from the real things that can come back to the Obama administration. Um, and, you know, and, and the press obviously is in Obama's pocket, and so you'll see things like Politico or National Journal running all these things like, well, every president uses the IRS in this way. Clinton used it, and uh, Bush used it this way, and, you know, whether or not that's true, they're trying to play it all off as a big gap. Right. Um, they, and, yeah, and they, they, they repeatedly said Bush and Bush appointee, you know, you know every Democrat on the, on the panel did that. I want to ask you, though, uh, Patrick, about the story that, uh, that you, you, you broke. Um, and again, it, it relates to, um, to uh, Lois Lerner. Um, her husband's law firm 
uh, has ties, you say, to, to the Obama administration. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about those connections. Right. I mean, not just to the Obama administration, but also to the Obama campaign. Not that there's necessarily any difference between those two uh, at this point, but they hosted an Obama uh, campaign event. Uh, trying people who are interested in uh, being involved with voter registration for the Obama campaign, they hosted that event in their own headquarters. Uh, one of the firm's partners uh, was appointed ambassador to Singapore by Obama. This firm uh, is called Sutherland. It's here. They have an office here in D.C. They're pretty prominent. They they represented the Guantanamo detainees, um, and they're they're in the press a lot. Um, and, and one of the partners became Obama's ambassador to Singapore. Um, and, you know, so this is a very politically connected law firm. And, um, you know, all these bureaucrats, regardless of whether or not they classify themselves as apolitical, they all know somebody or they're related to somebody or they're friends with the right kinds of people in town. And, and here in Washington, we know this, but people, in, uh, you know, in the country at large don't even know about these kinds of incestuous relationships. Yeah, it, it is incestuous. And, of course, uh, last week we learned um, that, uh, of course, the uh, brothers, uh, uh, respectively, of the heads of uh, CBS and ABC News uh, each work for the Obama administration in positions that have bearing on, on uh, Benghazi. Uh, but but now, now, now here's another one. By the way, we're talking to uh, Patrick uh, uh, Howley. He's the investigative reporter with The Daily Caller here on The Steve Malsberg Show. Again, we apologize for the technical difficulties at the beginning of the, uh, of the program. Um, Sarah Hall Ingram, the IRS executive in charge of the tax-exempt division between 2010 um, and when the targeting of, of the conservative groups uh, started, um, got more than $100,000 in bonuses and 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 in, in 2009 uh, between 09 and 012 and she's now been promoted she's now left that position she is organizing she's been promoted to head the IRS division in charge of Obamacare this woman who oversaw possibly the targeting of groups and individuals which the acting head now says ah, it's not illegal is now taking over she got a, a promotion for her work and is going to head up Obamacare for the IRS. I, you can't make this up, and yet I, I really don't hear the media talking about this. No, I mean, it's ridiculous enough that the IRS has an entire division devoted to Obamacare. I mean, that's enough of an outrage. Um, but, but the fact that this woman is, is now in charge of, uh, of our health care, of our, of our health and our, and our lives, uh, in terms of uh, how these hospitals apply for tax-exempt status under the Accountable Care uh, Organization Program, um, it's just an absolute boondoggle, um, and it does nothing to restore the confidence uh, of the American people in the Obama administration. But the, but the media is not going to cover it. Of, of course they won't. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to cover it, and I know you're going to cover it. And uh, keep keep uncovering the, uh, the, the 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 incestuousness of it all, and keep uncovering the absurdities and the the chutzpah of it all. And uh, and we'll keep talking about it here, Patrick. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Take care. All right, Patrick uh, Howley, Daily Caller.